Hey, everybody, off and running on this opening day edition of Thoroughbred Action here from Gulfstream Park West. Jason Blewett joining you at the GPW Clubhouse Studios. A uh, little rainy outside, but I don't want that to get in the way of tonight's broadcast where we've got a lot of ground to cover. And before we go any further, a happy Preakness Day to everybody. I hope it was a great one. Now, we begin our 40-day racing card stint here in Miami Gardens, and we'll get tied on for the first of 10, making a quick quick pit stop at the weather and track conditions. The main was sloppy and sealed. We had uh, heavy rain off and on throughout the afternoon, and we'll get ready to go on a no-turf opening day program at Gulfstream Park West with track announcer Pete Aiello standing by for race number one. And we start the new meet going two turns on the main at a mile and a 16th with a 12-5 to 10-5 free it up main flamer. Here's Big Pete up in the booth. Racing at GPW. Toward the inside, Churchill's victory centaur for the early advantage. Moving up on the outside is Guaco. Wide of them and Prince Valeski. Splitting horses goes Kiwi. Super Edgar is next, followed out wide by Express Boy. Estillo Pelagroso nearest the inside. Second last is Power. He's saving ground in the early trailer is Noble. Nebraskan. And the charge around the first turn. The advantage belongs to Churchill's victory and Semi Camacho on top three parts of a length. Kiwi on the outside is second. They've gone two ahead of a third running Guaco. It's a gap of another six to Prince Valeski outside of Estillo Pelagroso. Racing with them is Express Boy. Then it's a gap of two to Power. Up on the outside, Noble Nebraskans at the back of the field alongside Super Edgar with five furlongs left to race. Churchill's victory hounded every step. Up on the outside, Kiwi turning up the heat second. Length and a half to Guaco, who's now third. It's a gap of seven to the team of Estillo Pelagroso, Prince Valeski, and from between horses, Express Boy. Two back to power, then Super Edgar, and Noble Nebraskans been last throughout as they take it to the far turn. Three and a half furlongs left to run, and Churchill's victory has the lead three parts of a leg. Huey on the outside is second. Guaco has been chasing them throughout. He's now third. Still nobody running home from the back. In fourth, and Estillo Pelagroso. Prince Valeski is next, then Express Boy in power, and they run to the top of the stretch. There's a quarter of a mile left to go, and Churchill's victory is still the target. On the outside in Huey, wide on the far outside, Guaco tries to tip and roll. Prince Valeski is next to Sio Pelagroso sliding up the fence. There's an eighth of a mile to go. With the advantage, Churchill's victory is Sio Pelagroso fires through inside. Guaco's at a one pace. 16th to go. Here comes Sio Pelagroso up the fence, trying to get Churchill's victory, but Churchill's victory goes all the way. Second is Sio Pelagroso. Third was Guaco, then Power and Kiwi. to be in America a step slow to go. Archivero a step quick alongside follow his footsteps. Wild Wiggle and Jack is away third. Then Dr. Harlan and Diamond Mint and the trailer is lucky to be in America. They speed to the half mile grounds. Follow his footsteps has the lead. Up on the outside it's Diamond Mint now knifing between horses as Dr. Harlan is back to third. Over there fourth Archivero. Back at the inside Wild Wiggle and Jack pass by lucky to be in America as they take it to the floor turn. Follow his footsteps, three furlongs from home, and now a length on top. Dr. Harlan moves outside of Diamond Mint and takes up the slack second, two and a half clear of Archivero, who's racing fourth, then lucky to be in America, and Wild Wiggle and Jack. That's the six of them as they run to the top of the stretch. The advantage still belongs to follow his footsteps with Dr. Harlan bidding up on his outside second. These two have three on Archivero and trying to roll again as Diamond Mint. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Dr. Harlan out in the center tries to get follow his footsteps. These two have kicked on. Dr. Harlan is now in front. Follow his footsteps is right alongside and he's digging in. Follow his footsteps takes the lead again. Dr. Harlan one more time. Follow his footsteps. Turn them away. Follow his footsteps, beat Dr. Harlan with Dr. Rather third was Diamond Mint, then lucky to be an American, Archie Vero.
happy is simply super. He's polished us off an outstanding campaign with a dominant victory in the Malibu. No medication, no problem. Run happy, standing at Claiborne Farm. Tourette Best Stone commences nicely. Up on the outside, voices in the darkness have speed. Moving up from between horses, I am Butter. Tone feeling is at the rail. Angel's entries on the far outside, then ultra confident, trying to drop over his old main. The two at the back are DeSilo and Florida Express. And the charge around the first turn with the advantage, Winter at Bastone leads three parts of a length. I Am Butter is second, Voices in the Darkness on the outside, now third. From between horses, that's Tone feeling shuffled back a bit as Ultra Confident gets started in the two path. Farther out in Old Main. Length and a half to Florida Express, then it's a gap of another two to the trailer to Silo as they complete that opening quarter and head five furlongs from home. It's Winter at Bastone who has the lead. Winter at Bastone leads by neck. Up on the outside, Voices in the Darkness. Red Colors keeps the heat on. Second, I Am Butter is now third. Tone feeling at the rail, fourth. Back to fifth goes Ultra Confident, then Angel's Entry into Silo. Old Main is second last, and the trailer is Florida Express. They take it to the far turn inside half a mile away, and with the advantage, it's still Winter at Bastone. Voices in the Darkness clings to him while second, I Am Butter third. These three have been one, two, three from the outset. Then it's a gap of another two to a fourth running tone feeling trying to run home from there as Florida Express from last. The silo is next as they run around the far turn to the top of the stretch. Up on the outside, Voices in the Darkness continues to challenge Winter at Bastone. I Am Butter is right with them. Three across the course here. On from fourth and tone feeling less than a quarter of a mile to go. I Am Butter splashing along on the fence with the lead. Voices in the Darkness takes his shot on the outside second. Tone feeling down the center coming at him and coming on. 16th to go. I Am Butter is in front. I am butter by two and a half. They can't get him. I am butter. What would it? Voices in the darkness second to Silo third. Tone feeling was fourth, then Old Main. Race favorite, Con Permiso, away quickly. Tin Roof Rusty sent from between horses. Geometrico, the best distance. They're away in the top flight. The two at the back are Bro Gun and Exit Right. And the charge around the first turn with the advantage, Fearless Ideas, tackled outside by Tin Roof Rusty. These two now heads apart. Tripped out third, Con Permiso. The best distance is three wide. Exit Right is from between them. But it's a length and a half to Geometrico and far back to Bro Gun. Field of seven separated by 12 lengths in the run to the half mile grounds. With the advantage, it's Fearless Ideas and Sammy Camacho in front three parts of a length. Tin Roof Rusty on the outside second. At the inside third is Con Permiso followed fourth by exit right. The best distance is losing ground rapidly and doing so pretty early in the contest. Then Geometrico and the trailer is Bro Gun. They make their way to the half mile point and still up front. It's Fearless Ideas shaking free from Tin Roof Rusty, who's now back to third as Con Permiso moves into second. From fourth and exit right on from fifth and Geometrico, then the best distance and Bro Gun. Three furlongs left to go. It's the filly taking on the boys. It's Fearless Ideas and a bid to make all. She leads by two and a half Con Permiso together with Tin Roof Rusty. Now the best distance, lost ground pretty sharply at the half mile, tries to gain some ground while three wide at the quarter pole. Fearless Ideas is still the target. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Fearless Ideas has the lead by two and a half down the center. The best distance from between horses Con Permiso, then exit right in Geometrico. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Fearless Ideas. Ideas still in front. She leads by two. Down the center, the best distance coming at her and coming on. Fearless distance is almost home. Fearless Ideas is clear. Fearless Ideas close to home with the lead. Fearless Ideas went all the way. The best distance with the fascinating run was second. Third was exit right. Then Con Permiso and Geometrico.
smell of roses begins very nicely, and he'll look for an early advantage. B in front is going to be set from between horses, and Dexter Road will be flooded wide to that first turn. At the rail, unlock the potential. Devoted Kitten is near the back of the field with Vintner as they run around the first turn. Smell of roses and Rajiv Mirage on top to the rail and in top by a length and a half. B in front is second. Dexter Road on the outside now. Third back to fourth. Unlock the potential. Two back to the two at the back. Vintner and Devoted Kitten. They complete the opening quarter and race into the backstretch, and there's no pace pressure for Smell of Roses. He's front and center and on top by two. B in front is second. Dexter Road is third. A gap of three. Unlock the potential follows along in fourth. Vintner is fifth. And sixth and last is Devoted Kitten, yet to launch a bid as they head to the half-mile grounds. The advantage still belongs to Smell of Roses. There's been no change in the plot. He leads by a length and a half. B in front is second. Dexter Road is third. Five back to unlock the potential, who's now fourth, then devoted Kitten, and Vintner is last. Around the far turn they go. There's three furlongs left to run. B and Fun tries to gain ground on Smell of Roses. Dexter Road is a ridden third. Downlock the potential is now fourth. Devoted Kitten yet to reach the top flight. And Vintner's far back as they run to the top of the stretch. Smell of Roses still the target to the outside. And B and Fun coming after him second. Unlock the potential. Loose and charging toward the inside. Devoted Kitten is at the rail. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And up front it's unlocked. The potential is now striding nicely. Unlocked the potential by three. Devoted Kitten has rallied toward the inside. He'll take second, but nobody beats. Unlocked the potential. He's strong in victory by three in the end. Second, Devoted Kitten. Dexter Road third. Smell of Roses fourth. start from the outside for Corinthia driving through at the rail Foolish Heart has speed and Foolish Heart's going to go after Go Estrella on the top end. Piper is away third after a smooth getaway. Corinthia finds herself fourth followed fifth by Sadaita who's racing about seven lengths behind then Pink Fizz racing together with an outside running elusive eyes and the two way at the back the two trailers are Pandorica and Trees Thunder. They take it to the far turn up front Foolish Heart has the lead by Annette Go Estrella alongside second a gap of six. Trying to run home from the back is Pink Fizz up on the outside for uh, Burgos now into third. Getting around Piper who's back to fourth. Trying to rally from a long way behind his elusive eyes with Foolish Heart to catch. Foolish Heart has the lead. Here's Pink Fizz looming boldly now far outside and coming after the leader second. From back to third and coming on a little bit down toward the inside. That's Corinthia and they're inside that final furlong and Foolish Heart responds when confronted. Foolish Heart is on top by five. Up on the inside, there's a big late run from Pandora because she's got a shot for second, but nobody gets. Foolish Heart for Clark Freeman by five in the end. Second is Pandora, third was Piper, and fourth was Pink Fizz.
far outside, Macho Doro ridden hard for the lead, but Reyes also riding Robin taking charge for early command, and these two have now moved ahead as they try to work over from the outside draw. It's Robin taking charge, now in front. Up on the outside, and now second is Macho Doro, tosses out the rail third. Followed fourth by Son of Oahu. He's about six or seven lengths behind. It's a gap of another four to Majestic Luna. Then it's in Esperato, racing on the outside of Shidoshi. Down at the inside, it's first and three, well off the speed today, passed by Long Gray Line, and last a long way is Mr. Sesco. Pace is quick here as they head five furlongs from home. Up front, Robin taking charge, taking plenty of pace pressure from Macho Doro on the outside second. Toss is now third. Son of Oahu's had a good trip to the leaders while fourth. Gap of five to Majestic Luna, racing ahead of Shidoshi. Long Gray Line tries to play catch up, getting outside of Inletsperato, and it's a gap of another two and a half lengths back. Second last is first and three, and way back to Mr. Sesco. Around the far turn they go. Less than three furlongs to run. The battle rages on on the top end. It's Robin taking charge, trying to shake free. Toss. Now slow throw. Moving into second. Back to third and Macho Doro. Well clear of the rest. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. It's a three-horse breakaway on the top end. And now here's Toss to take a shot at Robin taking charge. Toss on the outside. Robin taking charge, trying to find under pressure toward the inside. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Toss on the outside. Robin taking charge. Game on the rail. These two Robin taking charge on the inside. Toss on the outside. Robin taking charge and toss. Toss gaining the upper hand late. Here's the finish. Toss and Robin taking charge in a picture. Up third, first and three, then long gray line. Congrats, that is away quickly. Brightologist has speed. Here's who's in charge. Sent forward from the inside. He now lands third. Back to fourth in San Cocho. Out wide, Secret Lifestyle. A length better than Acor. And dropping far back early is the race favorite, Bahamian Prince. He's better than nine lengths off the speed as they head to the half-mile grounds. Congrats, that has the lead. He leads a length and a half. Brightologist is on the chase. Who's in charge is third. A gap of four to San Cocho together with Secret Lifestyle. Unhurried is Acor. And still at the back is Bahamian Prince. He'll have to close big time, but he is starting to make some ground as they round the far turn. Up front, congrats, that has the lady leads by length. Pridologist is second, who's in charge is all in third. Gap of four to San Cocho together with Secret Lifestyle and Acor. And still last, Bahamian Prince. Past the quarter mile mark, they run to the top of the stretch. And up front, congrats that in a bid to make all. He turns for home on top. Brightologist is second. Who's in charge? And down the center, here's the late run coming. It's coming from Acor. And Acor is up to challenge for the lead with an eighth of a mile to go. Up front, the leader is still congrats that. Acor's got dead aim. And he'll go two to the one of congrats that. And Acor will win going away. Acor for the money. Second, congrats that. Third, Brightologist. Then Bahamian Prince.
and they're off. Good start for Royal Megan and Delonica moving out the rail. That's Cats Astray with speed on the far outside, Sayonara Baby. Into the top flight went Worth Avenue and Tis Possible Deer as they make their way past the half mile point. Down at the inside, Cats Astray pokes through to take a narrow advantage over Delonica in second. Royal Megan is now third. Tis Possible Deer is back to fourth. Up on the outside and Miss Miami into the top three, a gap of two and a half to Tis Possible Deer, or rather that's Sayonara Baby, and the trailer is Worth Avenue. They run around the far turn to the top of the stretch. Cats Astray getting loose on the top end, and Cats Astray now less than a quarter of a mile from home and three on top. Trying to go get her is Delonica from second toward the inside and Royal Megan back to fourth and coming on a bit. That's a late run from Worth Avenue. Final 16th of a mile. Cats Astray is still up front. Cats Astray in the midst of an upset. Is she strong and nobody will get her? Cats Astray and Ronnie Allen Jr. win the Saturday feature in upset pop and fashion. Second Royal Megan, I think, over Delonica third. center that smash who gets the first call and fires to the top moving up on the outside Tony Small he tries to work over into the top flight when Jupy's lightning in the charge to the first turn with the advantage it's smash he's on top and leads by length Jupy's lightning is second at the rail that's Tiz Luna third good timing man is between horses up on the far outside goes Slippy Mid-flight early for still scheming with Tony Small on his outside. He's worked over to race about six or seven lengths behind. It's a gap of another two to Dr. Samadhi just ahead of Rags for Britches. A gap of four more to January 1 and way back and not being persevered with early as Tribute Flag. Five-eighths left to run. Smash is the leader. Up on the inside now. Second is Jupy's Lightning with Slippy on his outside. Slippy claims a clear second now. From fourth and good timing man moving out the rail, Tiz Luna. Splitting horses and Dr. Samadhi. Tony Small, he's making steady headway while in the clear on the outside. Rags for Britches gets started a length and a half better than Dr. Samadhi, who's in retreat. Trying to get going from the back is January 1 as they all try to get Smash. Smash tries to throw the knockout blow. He's 5 sixteenths from home and dominating. He's now seven or eight in front. Second is Slippy. Rags for Britches is on the outside with Tony Small. Then January 1 from the back. A quarter of a mile left to go. Can Jaramillo and Smash keep this up? They've been sharp so far. They wheel for home well clear. Up on the outside, Rags for Britches. Tony Small is between horses. January 1 is underway from last. Final eighth of a mile. Smash trying to get home. He still leads by four. His strides are shortening. Tony Small is next at the rail in January 1. January 1 has closed a ton of Ground, but he's out of time. Smash will hang on to win it. Smash a diminishing neck. Second was January 1. Then Tony Small and Rags for Bridges. And that's going to do it here. Day one of 40 in the books. We'll finish off an abbreviated opening weekend at Gulfstream Park West with a nine-race Sunday car the day after the Preakness here tomorrow afternoon on Sunday, October the 4th. Regular start time of about 12.05 Eastern. We hope you can join us, and we'll see you next time right here on Thoroughbred Action. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired. Oh, my aching back. Let's hit the hay. Hit the hay. 